Hello everybody. Um, today is August the 30th, 2015, and I'm in my boat with my wife. Uh, we're out at my mooring, which happens to be in Goose Cove. Uh, right now I'm looking, we're looking at Alley Island in the distance, and you can see the mountains, uh, uh, Cadillac Mountain and others on on the island of Mount Desert. And then over here is the Trenton Bridge in that direction. And over to my left is a friend and neighbor of mine who has another mooring here with a large sailboat. Um, we are on the perimeter of an area that is going to be covered with eventually 5,000 very large floating cages in the water. Um, by the way, there's, yeah, that's a sightseeing plane in the air. I don't know if you can see it. Um, any event, uh, 5,000 cages are going to be here submerged slightly. Um, they are going to be growing oysters here. Um, here's a plane coming out of the airport. This is a, a plane taking off, obviously. We're standing approximately, well, very close to the flight path to Bar Harbor Airport. It goes over Alley Island and then to the airport itself. And so as planes arrive here, they go down that flight path over the water uh, between the island and, and uh, the airport itself. They are oftentimes at 500, 400 feet, something like that off the water. Uh, what, the thing that we are most concerned about is a, is a matter of public safety. And that is that birds, uh, we believe, will be attracted to these cages and particularly gulls, who as their behavior is that they flock together when they see a food source like this. They get kind of frenzied and they, they go way up in the air in grew large groups and then dive down and pick up little pieces of food. <clears throat> and the food we're talking about in this case, I believe, is going to be coming off the cages that these people are going to have to be cleaning out here. And we're going to show you something. This is my mooring ball. Uh, I haven't had my boat on it this season, unfortunately, but we came out the other day and I want to show you what we found on it. The mooring has been in place since June. It had a winter stick before that. And I don't know if you can see this, but this is covered with sea growth, this painter. It's a combination of mussels and small uh, writhing shrimp-like creatures and other things like, I don't know what this is. Uh, there are a number, quite a few starfish on it, and uh, the, but the majority is small mussels and other uh, marine growth. There, there's some starfish that maybe you can see there. Uh, maybe you can see starfish there. Um, in any event, if you look down at the bottom of my boat after having now done this, you will see all this stuff that's coming off. And the operator is going to have to remove this stuff from cages because it will weight the cages too much. They won't maintain their buoyancy properly. And it also will inhibit the growth of the oysters. So they're going to be out here probably, this has been in for about two months, eight weeks, say. Um, and they certainly couldn't allow it to grow this dense. So they'll have to be out at least, let's say, every here, some birds going overhead right now, by the way. Uh, maybe they're hearing what we're doing out here. Um, so they're going to have to be at this frequently, probably all the time with 5,000 cages. They're going to be taking them in and out of the water, cleaning this kind of stuff off. They're not supposed to be dropping it into the water unless it's just slime, but I can't believe that they're not going to have to just cast it off in the water. It's going to be all over their boats. It's going to rot and stink, and it's going to attract birds. And that's the threat that we're afraid of. We believe the FAA has made a bad decision here. Their own rules say they shouldn't allow an operation like this close to the airport, but for some reason they seem to be thinking that's what they're going to do. In fact, they've actually approved this. So it could begin any day. We believe it's a very dangerous situation for the people that live and work on MDI, travel over the Trenton Bridge, Route 3, back and forth between the island, and that is directly under the flight path. As our town uh, owner's residences, the town office itself, uh, even the fire department, and the elementary school, all the other businesses in town that are nearby the airport, 
all are potentially at risk of an airplane ingesting seabirds or otherwise being hit by them, seagulls in particular, and, and crashing, unfortunately. That is a risk. We believe it should be stopped, and we hope once you hear this story, you'll agree too. Our group is called Citizens for a Safe Airport. I hope you'll support us.